Younger Brian hated his nine to five job and the thought of working one for the rest of his life filled him with dread. So he decided to make money online. And the first thing he tried was freelance coding. But because he was afraid he didn't know enough yet, he wasted months of his life learning pointless coding concepts he never ended up using. Then when he had finally thought he learned enough to start, he was afraid that his advert on Fiverr wouldn't get any engagement or that the person paying for the job wouldn't end up liking his work. Fear paralyzed younger Brian so much that he never even took that first step step. One of my favorite ways to unwind after a long week of work is to watch a film. And the last film I watched was called Dune. And in that film, one of the characters says, fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. And that reminded me how big of a role overcoming fear played in succeeding in online business for me. If you're watching this video, you're probably more ambitious than the average person. And unfortunately, the thing that comes with living an ambitious life is having to do things that most people just don't want to do. If you're living this type of life right now, there's almost certainly something that you're afraid of doing that you're paralyzed by. Something that's just been bothering you for weeks, that's been eating away at you. Usually, this feeling comes whenever you're about to make a big leap and do something that can make a big difference in your business or in your life. And if you're anything like me, if you're not careful, this fear can literally paralyze you for months. And that's a problem because if you're actively trying trying to improve your life, you're going to feel this fear all the time. There's constantly going to be things that you've never done before that you're a bit scared to do for the first time. So I'm going to tell you a little process that I've used lately to help me overcome my fear and to take that leap. Step one, get a pen and paper. Step two, really start thinking about that fear. Think about everything bad that might happen if you do that thing that you're afraid of. Really think of all the reasons that you're scared of doing the thing and then write them all down. After you've written it all down, just stare at it for a second. If you're anything like me, you overthink and think of really stupid outcomes that really aren't very likely. So having it all written down in front of you might have already made you realize that what you're fearful of isn't really that bad after all. Whether that is the case or isn't the case for you, the next thing you need to do is grab that piece of paper and rip it to fucking shreds. And realize that you have created problems in your head that don't even exist yet. And by creating these fake problems in your head, you are creating a real problem, which is staying stagnant exactly where you are right now and not making progress because you're so paralyzed by all these fake problems that you've made. So what you need to do is to let go of all of these imaginary scenarios and just Focus on the current problem. Think about it. What is the current problem? Well, if you're scared to post your first YouTube video, the current problem is clicking the fucking button to post that first YouTube video. So just take that damn action and jump over that fear. And who knows, once you've finally made that leap over that fear, there will be some problems that arrive. Maybe some of the problems are ones that you envision, ones that you wrote down. But our mind has a way of catastrophizing them, thinking of the worst case scenario. And that worst case scenario is almost never the case. Think about it. When's the last time you took a leap, did something that you were afraid of, and all of the worst things you thought of actually happened? If the problems arrive, which they might, you can just solve them one by one. They're not all gonna come at once. And if you really think about it, are those problems that you thought of really that bad? You might even be making them worse off in your head than they actually will be. And if you really think about it, what other choice do you have? If you have goals and you're ambitious and you want to become a person that you might not be yet, you're going to need to break through some fear to get to the other side. And you're going to have to do it at some point. So why not do it now? Not taking the action is literally the only way to guarantee the worst outcome which is failure. I say a lot that online business is a process of elimination. And every time that you feel like quitting, half of your competition has just quit. And fear actually works a lot in the same way. Imagine 20 people walking across a path. And that path could be the path to a successful YouTube channel or making 10K a month. And at some point in this path, and there's gonna be multiple points, there's a ravine a dip that you have to jump over. Now, if there's 20 people walking alongside you in this path and they see that ravine, 
Some of them will sit there, sometimes for months, just staring at the ravine and not doing anything about it. Others might even turn around, walk away and give up. And the only thing that you can actually do to get closer to your goals is to jump over that ravine. And as soon as you do, you're now ahead of all of those people. And think about this for a second. If you're really scared of doing something and then you do it, what happens after? No matter the result, you are still just you. You're in your own head, having the thoughts that you have, living your daily life, except after you overcome that fear, none of the doubts will be there anymore. None of the negative thoughts will be there anymore. Even if the outcome isn't the outcome that you want, all of those negative thoughts will immediately go away because the actual real problem is the inaction from the fear. That's what creates the most negative thoughts and makes you feel the worst. So even if taking the leap leads to a bad result, you're going to feel better either way. If you do the thing, at least you can say that you tried it and you can feel good about that. Everything you want that's worth having is on the other side of fear. There is literally no other alternative. The alternative is letting that fear fester and poison your mind, sometimes for months. And the actual problems that you might create from acting despite that fear are never worse than the problems created by the fear itself. Realize that if right now you are on the path that you really want to be on and you really want to take that next step, but you're just really scared of something, some outcome, whatever it is, realize that you're going to have to take that leap at some point because otherwise you will never be fulfilled. You need to train your brain to just act despite the fear because once you overcome whatever you're scared of doing now, in one or two months, there's gonna be another thing that you're scared of. And if every time you find something that you're scared of, you wait one or two months to just take that action and take the leap, it's gonna take you two or three times as long to be successful. So stop letting that fear paralyze you. You're extremely ambitious. You have goals that you wanna achieve and you're not gonna be one of those people with loads of regrets on their deathbed. Build the skill of overcoming fear. Every time you take that leap and overcome your fear, the next leap is going to be just that little bit easier. You're not like other people. You have a lot more ambition than them. They have time to let fear paralyze them and stop them from doing what they need to do. But you don't. Time is running out, my friend. So take that leap. That's all I have for today. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one, bro.